I'm Amanda, and these are the 20 food prep basics all organic agricultural trainees should know. Not only will knowing these steps help you in the kitchen when you create delicious plant-based foods, but they are going to transform the lives of the individuals you help when you share what you've learned from Organics for Orphans with other communities. Shall we get started? Now you're going to learn how to cut pineapple. Pineapple are not only high in vitamin C, they're really rich in bromelain, which is an enzyme which helps digestion. So, the first thing you're going to do to cut a pineapple is lay it on its side. Too many times I've seen African locals trying to cut a pineapple with a knife out here. First of all, that's not very easy. Second of all, that's not very safe. So, we're going to keep our pineapple on this cutting board. And like we discussed in number two, knife skills, we're going to always keep the knife pointing down and away from ourselves. When I cut a pineapple, the first thing I do is I cut off the ends. This one is very ripe. And to set aside your compost, you can always add it to your garden later. Next, I use my knife, which needs to be sharpened, and I peel around the outside. This is one of the fastest ways to cut a pineapple. Now, do you see some of the little brown points? We need to cut those out, and I'm going to grab a smaller knife to do that. One of the reasons we cut these out is because they're very abrasive on the tongue, and they can cause a bit of an unfortunate sensation when you eat them. Plus, they're not very edible. So we're going to cut out the brown bits. And to clear our cutting board. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut around the long cylindrical inedible core. It should take about four cuts to do so. One, two, three, and four. You can't eat this part. You could chew on it if you wanted to, but in my opinion, it's best when it goes into the compost. So, then I'm going to take the really delicious vitamin C rich flesh and I'm going to chop it like we discussed in an earlier video. So I made three different slices and I'm just going to cut chunks. I'm going to take my bowl, put the pineapple pieces into it, and I'm going to do that with the entire pineapple. I can use these chunks and I can put them in a green smoothie or I can make a fruit salad, which is something almost everyone loves. So there you go. In less than four minutes, we have cut and chopped up a pineapple.